Hello everyone, this is Janice from Cricutology.blogspot.com. Um, I'm using some cuts from Georgian Basic Shapes, the heart, and then I welded some letters, the word love, inside of it with my Gypsy from Simply Sweet. All of the letters are from Simply Sweet. Um, the tag is from Sweethearts, um, but the heart is from Simply Sweet, so I just... And then I, I made a little scallop with one of the EK Success cutting chips. So what I'm going to do, one little tip, one technique that I do is when I need paper, I take it from the back of a photo. So I'm going to do a little surgery on this sheet and I'm going to get a, sh a piece big enough so that I can use this paper and not use one big 12 by 12 just for these two little brads that I want to put over there. So that's the plan for that. Um, I used my ruler and I took a, with a very light pencil, you can't see it I'm sure, um, made a line that goes all the way around the layout where I want the stitching to be. I'm going to use this paper here because I don't want the stitching to go all the way to the end. And what I'm using is a set from close to my heart called Simple Stitches. Not sure if they sell it anymore. And I'm using my Memento, um, what is this? Rich Cocoa. And I'm going to ink this up really well. And then the paper, I need a paper on the other side too, because I don't want it to go onto my lettering. And I'm just going to add the stitching there. And if you really wanted this to be dimensional, you could take and um, emboss it. That would look nice. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Put my paper here this time. Make it a little bit longer. And again, I'm just following my line here. I'm going to erase the lines when I'm done. And it's not straight. <laughs> Even though I put the lines there, it's not straight. Um, and the eye is going to be there, so I'm not going to see. Okay. And move this down. Put my paper here. And this paper is not adhered down to the back either. I have another layer underneath the polka dot paper because I like to have a border sometimes. Let's see here. Okay, let's see how that looks. I love it. Okay. And so there you go. And already I think that adds just a simple little stitch adds so to this layout. I absolutely love this stamp set. I've had it for quite a while and I just recently decided to dig it out again and start using it because I have way too much stuff I don't use. And there we go. I need to do some grafting, I guess is what the real term is, because I need some of this polka dot paper for my brads that I'm going to make for my layout, okay? So, and I don't want to cut a whole big paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece from back here, but I want to make sure that I don't take too much. So I'm just going to take a small piece and hopefully that's big enough. And then see, that's there. Nobody will ever know, just you and I. And then this is going to go in the back anyway. And I did some faux stitching here. I finished all my um, stitching around with the stamp, the stitch stamp, and I did faux stitching on this heart, and I did faux stitching on this one, and I 
also embellished the little tag with both stitching and this stitch stamp. With my Creative Memory one and a quarter inch punch, and this paper is so thin, this My Mind's Eye paper, that I don't even need the little notches around it. Um, uh, Imagine S has a punch that you can purchase that makes a cut that looks almost like a flower. And you can cut it out on the Cricut, but I just thought, let me just try this and see if it works. Sometimes what I do is I put a little glue dot on the metal part, on the Brad Daddy, as they call it. Let's see if I just do this. And then you just kind of push the paper around there. And with this little one, it's hard to get your thumbs in there. So I use a, a pen or pencil eraser, whatever you can use. Okay, then I need to put that in there, turn this, gentle squeeze, so easy, I love this, and then you just pop it out, and there you go. Next step is, this is going to be my journaling block, and glue everything together, yeah, put it down with some ATG, and I'll be done with this layout.